Hello, I'm Taumic. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will uh, teach you how to uh, add textures to your Blender objects. So, to begin with, I have uh, this uh, simple cube, the starting cube. And we basically want to put each of the sides of the cube into one flat image. And uh, to do that, we just we first need to go to the side here and uh, drag out one area in Blender. And then let's go to the bottom and change the content of this area to UV Image Editor. So now we can see that we have a flat image on the right side here. Now we basically want to apply each of the 3D blocks sides onto this flat image. So that we get that later can put a texture or even make a texture right here and apply its content onto the faces of the cube. So to begin with, we will need to basically select each of the cube's sides and then put them to the image. And there are multiple methods to do this. One which is called unwrap. And uh, to unwrap, or unwrapping basically is an auto-generating tool in Blender to put every, all of the faces into the 2D place. So I'm now going to show you how to unwrap. So let's then go into edit mode while selecting the cube. Like this. So now the entire cube is selected in edit mode. Let's then select um, two edges that are between each other so that we have marked one entire line between two faces. So now that we have marked this line, we can press Ctrl E and do something that is called mark seam. The mark seam basically splits these two faces from each other so that this connection disappears. And I'll show you why that is important. Because if we now press Ctrl A and mark everything in the cube, and then press U, because U button uh, is the button that activates the unwrapping. So now we can select different kinds of unwrapping methods. And there are a lot of different kinds. The first one is the usually most used one, because that's the default unwrap. And if I show you how th what that basically does, yeah, right now it doesn't do much because we have uh, basically only splitted one side, and it tr it tries to build a 2D object out of uh, all of these sides. So it's like if you have this cube in your hands, for instance, then try making it flat. Uh, I mean, like flat, so that all sides are pointing at the same side while holding all of the other uh, lines between the faces. Well, that is basically impossible. So to make that possible, we need to select uh, more lines and basically open up the entire cube. Or, because this is like, if the cube is a paper structure or something, that there is a, there are papers on all the sides, then the red lines here show where there is an opening where you can open them or separate them. So we basically want to separate them so that they look like a cross or something. To do that, we just need to select the edges on the sides and stuff. And there is one uh, faster method to do that and that's by going down here and select the line selection option. So now we will always select a line. So let's select uh, yeah, some lines like this, then keep going down here, and maybe even here. So we have like two lines on each side. Now that we have selected all of these sides here, we will just need to press Ctrl E and then mark the seam so that all of these places will be splitted. Now, if you press A to mark everything, and actually I should uh, add this so that you can see what buttons I press. 
So now that we have marked everything, we can press U and unwrap. And now we can see the shape that we have made. Because if you look at the, our shape here, we have one square area here, which will be like isolated from all sides except this side. So it will be only connected here. This side will only be connected to the one up there and this one. So it will be like a middle site between the bottom and this more, uh, higher up one. Then this one also connects to this area here or this face which is connected to both sides there. And basically that applies as a T. Because yeah, if I just select, if I go down to the area tool here and select one area at a time, then I can see exactly where each of these areas are applied. And by holding shift while selecting, I can show you exactly where they also are. If I just keep the camera there and show you the position of each of these squares, then you can see that this one isn't connected to that one because of the red lines splitting them up. But it is connected to this one, exactly as you can see on the right area here. So this is basically how you apply your seams. You can apply them however you want. If you select everything and then press Ctrl E again, and then clear seams. Then you will be rid of all of them. But your uh, UV will still be there until you change them. There is also other met methods to make your UV. One is to use the other pre-made UV methods. Smart UV, for instance, just adds them up like this something. It can be entirely random and if I go down to the selection option down here, then I can select one entire area at a time. So if I move, I can move these one independently between each other by pressing G and moving it. Yeah, you can actually rotate these and scale them with exact same buttons as you use in the 3D environment. But uh, basically, we just need to choose some. Uh, we can we can even choose and isolate some areas by adding seams to all uh, all around. But if I just go back and add like this, the mark seam and mark everything, unwrap, then we have come back to normal. You can also move each of these parts now, but then we need to change from the entire selection option to just face area selection option. So now I can move each of these parts, but as you can see, they are related to each other. The edge, each of the edges are connected to each other. And if you move this object, for instance, you will also interfere with the ones connect connected to it, as seen here also. So now that we know how to unwrap in some b basic methods, we can start making our own textures. Thanks for watching. Check the next part of the video to see how to fully create your own textures on your object. Good luck and see you later, goodbye.